Hey, 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 everybody, and welcome back to another Gaming on Caffeine live stream. And on this fine Monday afternoon, some more Techopolis. Hello. Hey, Isaac. It is a very fine Monday afternoon. Have you ever stopped to think, Nick, about how the word fine can mean just okay? But also, like, incredibly good. Yeah, that's quite weird, actually. I've never thought that before. But yeah, because you could be like, damn, that's fine. Or yeah. damn, you fine. Yeah, right? that's the thing. Or like, you know, fine art or something, right? Like, yeah. It's all, oh, it's yeah. It's always like, you know, it's fine art. It's not like art that's just mediocre. That's okay. Right? It's art that's like the best of the best. Right? Mm. So, I mean, that's very, mm. that's odd. You know, it's... um. Yeah. But then again, that's always the case, right? It's always, you know, countercultural. Whatever is, like, mediocre, people take the same language and just, you know, appropriate it for, for meaning great. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, may maybe it's that's uh, a rule that's been created by big mediocrity mm. in order to uh, <laughs> lighten big it. Big mediocrity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. The, uh, AKA, like, wish.com, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In order to um, try and salvage the fact that their items are just okay, to yeah. trick people into thinking they are way more than just okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. People that's mentioned fine is. dining. That's also true. Yeah. Do you reckon yeah. this is, do you reckon what we're doing right now is fine streaming? Oh, AKA yeah. just like mediocrity. No, <laughs> mediocrity no, no. Streaming. This is, this is fine. Oh, this streaming. is like exquisite. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, exquisite. Exactly. Exquisite. I'm assuming that fine is the same fine in like terms of like, you know, fine line and fine print like it's yeah some small attention to details right and maybe like oh i was thinking it was like like when you get a fine like it's expensive you know? oh yeah so no, that's maybe, also maybe it's true like... <laughs> god yeah that's another fine isn't there there's so many fines want? man jesus yeah. christ it's, what's uh, wrong with you <laughs> Miriam webster yeah they I'm calling you out <laughs> yeah what's wrong with you oxford <laughs> university and cambridge university what are you doing oh, <laughs> and colin from collins colin yeah you know collins that's the other dictionary isn't it you oh ever, i don't know there's collins? so many dictionaries do you reckon we could start a dictionary probably man yeah yeah what's the uh, urban yeah and oh. you too urban <laughs> <laughs> You gotta, you gotta remember Urban Dictionary, man. They're the yeah. most accurate ones. I think right? they're the one who are gonna have the, you know, your fine definition on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, oh man! Nick, welcome back to Hi. Modded Minecraft Thanks. Techopolis. We made some good progress in the last stream. We now we have did. our assorted crystal clusters. We have mm. our gold cluster and our uh, cinnabar redstone back here as well. And uh, slowly but surely, Nick, between streams, we have been gathering, uh, you know, rubies, quartz, set quartz, prismarine, you know, fluorite, all this, you know, junk that we're getting here. And I think, Nick, in today's stream, uh, in the first part at least, we can maybe do one or two things. Mm. Or maybe both, potentially. Xnet is on the cards. You have an Xnet controller, yes? Yes, it's in one of these chests, I believe. Um, bottom, it's in the bottom left chest, Isaac. That's where I bottom left Bottom left yeah, yes. here we this go. One, yeah, yeah, it's all in that. air. Oh, so much cable. I love to see it, Nick. On top of that, speaking of chests, I think that a very basic, rudimentary refined storage system, Nick, is within our grasp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. He's salivating. You can, you can hear it. Yeah, there's a bit of drool coming out, man. <laughs> oh, I can't get a rash or something now. <laughs> so that is, I think, uh, that's so appealing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's doable. If we are going to do that, we are going to need silver. Because in order to make the improved processes, you have to use electrum plates. And electrum is obviously an alloy between gold and silver. Yeah. So I think one of the first things we are going to have to do is get some uh, silver from the, the store here, which is going to require one advanced techium. And then if we're going to automate silver, we're going to need another tier three miner, right? Which right. I think is two more advanced techium. So I think okay. we're going to need like three advanced techium going forward. Um, right now, we're not getting... The resources required to make Techium, we're not getting them particularly fast, right? Like, we've got 105 Constantine Gears, which is, is you know, enough for a couple of Techium ingots. But, you know, this has been running for a while. You know, I'd expect, like, you know, a, a full 2,800, you know, storage drop bursting at the seams kind of amount. Yeah, what's going on here, Eyes? Because there, is there well, been a, there's a blockage. No, there's no crushing, Nick. It's just slow. Oh, there's no I crushing see. here. So all of our, you know, pieces are just being, you know, dropped in the smeltery as they are. Mm. So okay. we could put a crusher here. 
But I think as I mentioned in, in one of the previous streams, Nick, we're very close to being able to get like a pulverizer. Right. Or being able to make pulverizers, right? Being able to make the machines from thermal expansion. And, yeah. uh, and once we have that, we can then start to uh, to use those in place of crushers. They're a lot easier to make and, and take up a lot less space, right? Right, so, okay. And they have the same effect as a crusher does in that you right. get a lot more bang for your buck. Yeah, right? that's that's very good. So what are we missing? Is it is it indeed silver or is it something else? Yeah, for, well, for the pulverizer, it's kind of the same deal. So a pulverizer is a piston, two flint, easy enough, a redstone flux coil, which we can now make. A redstone mm. flux coil is made in a fluid crafter with the stabilized redstone and gold, so that's doable. And we should automate those because those flux coils are also needed for the elite tech team and gets the next right. year that we require. Uh, they also need copper gears, which is super easy. And then the tricky part is the machine frame. The machine frame, Nick, requires two advanced tachyon ingots, four quartz enriched iron, one, uh, sorry, two fluix dust, which we can now do, uh, and then one machine casing. The machine casing requires even more quartz enriched iron and then the electrum gear. So we do okay. need electrum for that as well. So right. yeah, silver is, is on the card. So could you, Nick, begin your journey today by setting up a silver or cluster? Over next to redstone, like yes. over with the gold and the yeah, gold. that makes the most uh, most sense um, to to get. So we are well, in requirement. I'm assuming we don't we don't have any bankage of advanced technium that we can just uh, throw at um, no, no. John got, over there. Uh, we've got no ATIs, man. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get the the silver down, and I'm gonna temporarily move one of these tier three miners just so I can get a bit of silver going. Um, if you want to just look at making the tier three miner real quick, that'll yeah, be, yeah, be great. and uh, you know what, it's gonna be it's gonna be all right, right? Like it's not gonna be the end, like too bad because we've got minor lenses automated, haven't we? We do. So I did want to, I did want to, you know, Nick, I want to, I want to talk to Ben about this um, mm. because there's a there's a problem, a catastrophic problem. Oh my god, over here. So I was trying between streams to kind of finalize the automating of the actual miners themselves, right? Right. So to make a, uh, a miner, you need the lenses, which we've done. We've automated those lenses. Yeah. We also need smooth stone and then stone pickaxe heads, right, from Tinkers. Yeah. Now, normally, you would make a stone pickaxe head in the Tinkers station, right? Mm -hmm. However, if you look at the recipe, you can craft three cobblestone together to make a stone pickaxe head. Here you go, Nick. I'm going to give you three cobblestone. Oh, yeah. And uh, toi, if you open up the, uh, the crafting table conveniently placed to you, and you do a little slab craft in the middle. Uh... Oh, like, uh, wait, hold on a second. I've done a, I've done a slab craft. I'm assuming, I'm assuming it goes differently than that. So you do a slab craft, and then in the top right, there's a little like you know retweet button. Oh yeah. Oh god. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. Pickaxe this head. is right. where I... right. the problem arises. Right. So if you take this out, there's then uh, you come to a factory. You can't do that other recipe in the factory mm. because it just defaults to the slab recipe, right? There's I no retweet see. button in the factory. I see. Okay. So there's no retweet. Like, the factory doesn't have mm. Twitter is okay. the issue. I'm, I'm pressing my fingers against my ear, Nick. I'm getting uh, a, a message live from Ben. He says, uh, this is indeed a catastrophic error. And then in brackets, he says, that is fixed in the development build. So hopefully, right. in the next update, I would assume, uh, this uh, catastrophic lack of a retweet button Will be uh, will be, be re-implemented. Yeah. He's been speaking to Jack. Yeah, uh, and Jack said, <laughs> Jack said, "Oh yeah, sorry, mate. I'll give it to you in your dev builds." And now we're just <laughs> waiting for it to to make production. Isaac mm. is there is what's happened there. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, all good, all good. Um, so I need to make some advanced technium. Um, yes, that's also what I'm currently doing. I need one to buy the silver, right? Right, I think I just need to put some, some yeah. Obsidian? This, this, Aquabricks? Yeah, uh, obsidian, right? Oh yeah, no, Aquabricks make obsidian, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, you just throw some in here and and then you should be golden, I think. I think everything else is in here. Just like they're... the girls? I think it is just like the girls, yeah. What what the hell do the golden girls, what were they famous for? <laughs> what did no they idea. do? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot tell you at all, Nick, honestly. <laughs> Can someone tell us what the golden girls did? Um, is that please. a TV show? Are they a, a, a group of... Are they fictional? I, I don't know. I don't are they know. Real? Are they made of gold? <laughs> are, they, are, they, are they solid? Are they are they solid or are they plated? <laughs> <laughs> are they fake golden girls? <laughs> How gold are we talking? I oh, know. Okay. Like, I'm going to take carrots. That, that first one, and then I'm going to leave you to to, to okay, live right. your best life. Here's okay, thanks, here's all man. the all the stuff I have in relation thank to you, it. Thank you. Thank you. Which unfortunately is the stuff you don't need at the minute. But that's, that's uh, no. Yeah. You know. I need. Uh, here we go. I've got I've got access to some bits here in this little plate zone. How many plates do we have? 
Yeah, again, you know, it, it, this could be slightly faster, but I think it's okay, all things considered. I think we're, we're slow on stone again, Nick. We're back, you know, full circle. Oh my stone God. is our problem here. Yeah, it's the thing limiting us. Everything oh. else is going pretty pretty fast. I'm not going to have to get the freaking uh, alarm back, am I, Isaac, for stone this time? <laughs> That's cobbles. cobblestone. Yeah, I was going to say. I yeah, I mean, know. It's going to... Well, it, I mean, we are making use. stone. We're making a ton of stone. It's just all being used, right? Is the right? Is the is the problem? I see. I see. Yeah, it's, it's not um, yeah, that's not great. That's not great. Okay, I just need steel and like some other garbage, don't I? Uh, Invaro, yeah, Invar goes in here. Uh, advanced, and I'm missing one more thing, apart from the lava, obviously, and that is. Uh, oh yes, it is steel. Okay, let this me check steel. my my bait. My not my, my dank. Here we go. Do I have oh, any yeah. steel in my hmm. dank? I, I did notice we tons. are going into a slight steel issue. Oh, uh, yeah. We've got a fair bit of steel. Uh, I mean, it's a steel issue. You know, silver lining is that we're not currently making steel, any more steel. Uh, the mm -hmm. silver lining of that is that we've got a staggering amount of iron backlogged, which is fantastic. But uh, the problem is, Nick, that our advanced, you know, uh, blast furnace here is full of slag. Like, it's Ooh. banked up on slag. There's right. actually a, draw, a storage drawer full of 2048 slag because there's so much slag that's been produced. So right. right now we've got 85 steel blocks and we've got 1,376 iron blocks because the iron blocks are not being turned into steel blocks because of a slag overload. A slag problem. Right. We've got a very I large see. slag problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Understood. You know how it is. I know how it is, man. I know how it is. So I'm going to move this slag drawer. I'm going to keep the 2048 that we've got, but I'm going to replace it with a trash can. So any new slag that's being made is just going to be deleted. It's going right? to be dumped. Right. Okay, yeah. that's good. And Unless then someone makes a very a good point. Anyway. We can just put um, a void upgrade onto the onto the slag draw, so it deletes any excess instead of mm. doing this convoluted storage draw method. Mm. Uh, with I the think trash can. that that is good. Because I mean, yeah. the slag is required for some things, right? I don't think we need it for anything. Really? Some packs utilize it. So unless Ben has like used it in some way, we can crush it into sand if we wanted to. Right. We can we can use it in a mixer to make liquid concrete. <laughs> if oh, that's gosh. needed, you know, but Isaac, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like, if we don't need it, we can I just like... liquid concrete. It's not even yeah. useful. The only thing that's useful for is, I don't know, like hiding bodies and TV shows, right? Like, that's true. Yeah. I mean, unless we're doing that. Yeah. Which maybe we are. Potentially. Yeah. I mean, I don't make the rules, right? Like, yeah. you know, whatever goes on here, I'm just, you know, part of the. Part of the the civilian population, Isaac. I don't get involved with all that garbage. Right. Um, but you know, if it were to happen, you know, then maybe maybe it could be useful. Like, let me just type it in slag. Oh God, it does look awful, doesn't it? Right. Let's press U on this. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just it is it is literally just concrete, isn't it? Just concrete. It yeah. It's just concrete. Yeah. It's and what, not, and it's sense, really funny looking one it. as well. Yeah. Slag brick block. Yeah, that's even worse because that's just a waste of bricks, to be honest. Slag brick block. Um. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Um. I, yeah. I, I've got an update, man. Oh uh, yeah, please. An update, a, a, a continuation, right? Go ahead. Of, a, of, a, of an existing saga, which I think took. So, do you remember uh, Hash Brown Gate? Uh. Yes, I do which remember is... Hash Brown Gate, aka um trying to make. Your own hash browns is not as good as. Oh, this is a different hash brown gate, man. So hash that, that oh, was just okay. a hash brown conversation, I guess. Oh, that might have been hash brown gate v one. Right. Hash brown gate v two was your incorrect statement that a hash brown is a staple of an English breakfast, mm -hmm. which is correct. Which is incorrect, factually incorrect. If factually, factually right. incorrect. Um, according to Wikipedia, at least as our as our source, um, right. and, I, and I think, and and my opinion always as well. always factually correct Wikipedia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Impossible to be incorrect. So absolutely. For those who don't know, this was a previous uh, series conversation. I think right. We talked about this in uh, in Cuboid Outpost, but um, Nick was under the impression that a hash brown is a, a staple of a full English breakfast, mm. which again is not true. It's factually incorrect. Right. Staples include sausage. Bacon, eggs, beans, black pudding, probably comes before hash browns. Oh uh, tomatoes, Jesus. you know. Th those are those are high I'm not saying they're the best parts. I'm not saying hash browns are, are worse than those. I'm just saying that like that's the the reality. Like those are those are very those are higher up on the scale. Oh my god. You don't agree? Black pudding? You don't so again, if we did a family fortune, family feud style. We asked a hundred oh, people to name pudding. to name one 
component of an English breakfast, do you think that hash brown would rank above black, black pudding? pudding? Yes. I don't think it would. I'd say that with with very very high confidence. I don't think it would, man. I'd, I'd say it with, For, with I'd, I'd be surprised if either, like if either of them were on there. If we asked a hundred people, I reckon you'd get like you know forty, like thirty five sausages, thirty five bacon's, and then like. 20 eggs and like three beans i think you'd get like it'd be i don't know if my math adds up there like <laughs> it's like 92 or something three, but... three beans <laughs> <laughs> three yeah. people saying beans not three, not three <laughs> no, beans no, no, no. on the plate i want to imagine that they have three beans with their uh with their full uh english breakfast man <laughs> but, that's like, what again, i want to believe my point is hash browns are not gonna no one thinks english breakfast and thinks hash browns apart from oh. you right all oh, oh, right okay Anyway, Keep the saga continues, Nick, because this morning I was out. I had a full English breakfast, mm. right, Nick, right? And on the menu, I see this, uh, you know, they've got, they've got a few variations of their English breakfast, right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, But all of them had, uh, again, as you claim, uh, as you mentioned previously, like potato rosties? Is that potato rosti, I think. Rosties, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, all right, here we go, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack it up. And you know what, Nick, I'll send you a, a photograph, right? Oh, please. I didn't really, I didn't really know what to expect when, mm -hmm. when I read potato rosti. Like, I've had hash browns before, but I don't know if I've had potato rosties right. necessarily. Um, so here we go. Here is a, a, a what looks like to be a sideways photo of this of this plate. Right, I might need to have a look. Here we go. Boom. There you go. This is the, the right, breakfast me... that oh, I had this morning. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I see. That's a, that is potato rosti, that, yeah. 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 Could you explain for the for the people at home what you're looking at right now? Okay, so I'm looking at... Uh, sorry, I'm just uh, breaking my neck to look at this photo because it's at 90 degrees. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, that's not how I took it. My phone just... That's how it works. So I'm, I'm looking a boomer, at a picture okay. of uh, five rashes of bacon, or thereabouts, three between three and five rashes of bacon, uh, two sausages, which look very nice, those sausages, uh, some cherry tomatoes, what looks like half of a black pudding, a small pot of beans, two poached eggs, they look yes. like, and mm. two potato rosties, which potato. look very, very made in house. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Initial thoughts. Mm, okay. F from me. Yes, from you. Okay. Looks really good. Uh, sausages look good. Bacon looks good. Tomatoes look good. Beans look good. Eggs look good. Black pudding, I'm not a fan of, but looks fine. Uh, and the uh, potato rosties look like they'll break my teeth. Mm. Um, mm. Yes. So, first question: Are we? Are we? Would you say? It, would you? I need to clarify here. Like, I'm, mm. <laughs> I feel like this is a deposition. I'm like, like it's a leading line of questioning. Right, hold on. Do I need to, to prove to, my case? I'm going to take a sip of water, <laughs> like I'm in a courtroom. Here we go. Yeah. Are mm. we? So, are you stating? Are you willing to continue your statement? that hash browns belong on, or, or are a staple of English breakfast. Yes. To the statement that potato rosties are a staple of English breakfast. Uh, this yes. right here. These right here. I would I would say that, that potato rosties are interchangeable with hash browns. So, if I were to show the general UK public, every single man, woman, and child in this universe mm. on, uh, that lives on the UK, they a photo of these potato rosties, like cropped, right? It's just this bit, yeah, here, yeah. right? You think if I was to show them this photo and say, "Do you think this is a, a staple of an English breakfast?" Do you think they would say yes or no overall? Jesus Christ! I think they'd say, "Why have you got crabs <laughs> on your on, <laughs> as part of your breakfast? <laughs> Deep fried crabs. Ugh. They do look like bargies. That would so Nick. They this was in my like follow-up question. Onion bargies, man. They taste like onion bargies. Yeah. What? They were. They, I'm don't get me wrong. They were delicious, but they taste like onion bargies. Are you sure they just didn't get onion bargies? They were, no, there was potato inside. It wasn't any onion. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Well, it's what happens when you go to a curry house for breakfast, Isaac. <laughs> 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 oh, you get bloody onion bargies for it. <laughs> instead of potato. Everything else remains the same. <laughs> uh, Could you explain an onion bargy for us, Nick? People uh, yes, are lost. Yes, yes. People who don't know, onion bargy is um, a... You find it in British curry houses. I actually don't know outside of the UK. Um, and they are a Indian... You find them at Indian restaurants. They're like a deep fried, um, like, mix of, like, onion, spices, and chickpeas and maybe sometimes a bit of potato as well in like a cake and deep fried they look like the picture that isaac just showed except for they aren't you know just pure potato yeah um yeah that that is what an onion bargie I, is. I like onion bargies yeah I say, i'm a fan 
they're nice. They're nice. Yeah. So, like, I don't know, man. Like, so these were good, right? They were tasty. Mm-hmm. It was, but that's you're still incorrect though about them being a staple, right? They're not a staple. I mean, like, I, find I was them eating this a staple. And, uh, pardon? I I do find them to be a staple, but I will uh, admit that a lot of the time. Do you have the plate the time, press, by the way? Pardon? Do you have the plate press? Uh, do I have the plate press? Let's oh, no, never mind. You've not used this metal press since you started today. I've no, no, I okay, haven't. Okay, no. continue. I find that. Um, th- so the staple tends to be a potato-based item. Most of the time, it's hash browns. However, I don't think so. I don't think. I, I think. Oh, I think the staple. Again, we can go back to Wikipedia if you like, Nick. I think the staple English breakfast does not include a potato product. See, right? I, 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 from anecdotal experience, disagree. I know Wikipedia says it isn't, but That's I feel what, like oh, I'm saying. Okay, you do get them, right? Oftentimes, a, a, a quote-unquote English breakfast will maybe include like you know little potato cubes, or maybe like uh, roast, uh, like a uh, you know hash browns, or something along those lines. But I think it's not a staple, right? Oh, it's, just a, it's just an extra that people throw in sometimes. No, i uh, no, yeah, I would just say no. I find so I actually went for uh, for brunch this morning. I didn't get an English breakfast because I was like that I'm going to be you know food coma out. Mm. Uh, but I did have a look at it, and they had like. Uh, uh, like potato, like little roast potatoes, right? Mm. Uh, and then I was in a Weatherspoons recently, and they have chips because they're crazy uh, yeah. as the potato I, products. I think the chips and hash browns are on the same page when it was breakfast. I mean, that's... equal levels of of unconventional. Yeah. But then again, so my point is that it's all potato, right? And then the pre, so I I had brunch uh, three days in a row this nice. weekend. Uh, and then he, so yesterday the place had, uh, hash browns. Like that was, that was just normal. And yep. then on Saturday, oh, that wasn't actually brunch. That was bottomless brunch, uh, where the breakfast <laughs> brunch item was pizza. <laughs> mm, nice. Okay. So there but was no, no actual English breakfast items involved in that one. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a right. very large amount of Prosecco. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> and mimosas involved. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. I find anecdotally, Isaac, potato products. Are usually involved. I find they that it's actually be... against the norm okay, okay, to not okay. involve them. Okay, okay. Right. But just because something is regularly... I, I feel like this is a disagreement in, in philosophy, mm. right? I feel like we disagree on a fundamental philosophical, you know... Construct. Basis, yeah, right? Yes. Like, we talked before about, like, educational YouTube videos, right? And, like, I think that definitionally, if we're going to say like an English breakfast, right, the Engl- quote, a quote unquote English breakfast refers to something specific, right? And I feel like even like it, it, your, the, the, the concept there is being changed, right? Do you uh, know what I'm trying to say? Like basically like it's one of those things where like we all use the word triangle to define a shape with three oh, points, right? Yeah. If I start, if if I got enough people to start calling a circle a triangle, eventually would you would contest that? Yeah, that's just a, that's a, that's a triangle. Yeah. If I showed you a circle, right? That's that's yeah. the and then I would say no, that's a triangle, right? Or a yeah. circle, right? That's the, the difference here, right? I'm becoming an old you know grumpy man who's like I want to stay. I don't the want things to change, and yeah. you're the one who's like you know hip and with it and is like. Yeah, potato. That, could be that's on exactly breakfast. what's happened. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. That's deep, man. I'm going to have a sip of this vanilla latte. Mm. <laughs> Yo, I think I need something stronger now. That's yep. so... <laughs> no, I do get you, though. Yeah. That's exactly what's happened. Yeah. You're mm. going off the classic definition of an English breakfast. Yeah. And I'm going off what just gets served what gets more served. commonly these yeah. days. Mm-hmm. You see an English, English breakfast. You see the potatoes around. Like, yeah, exactly. And I have to agree. Almost everywhere you go has a potato of some description as part of the quote-unquote English mm. breakfast, even if the potato is not part mm. of the English breakfast officially, right? Yeah. But no, yeah. Um, it was a weird there breakfast, man. The well, freaking... Yeah, was it like so a little like, independent cafe, man? Was that like the vibe? It was, yeah, it was a small place, man. It was nice. Yeah. Um, it looks the, nice. Yeah, it looks lovely. It was nice. The the the, the beans were interesting, man. Mm, um, they look, um, so they look like, I've had a breakfast like with those, what looks like those kind of beans before. They're like homemade baked beans. These were, these were interesting because these were like, were like homemade beans, like, but mm. they were they had a few different menu options. This was like a, a quote unquote butcher's breakfast. It had a few more, more meat than the other one, right? But also right, the beans, oh, yes. 
the beans had ham hock in. They were spicy Ooh. ham hock beans. And I was like, oh. That sounds delicious. They were fantastic, man. Whoa. They were really nice. Yeah. That sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah that sounds good really stuff. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, they're interesting. How um, would you take that? So the, the the eggs, as you know, Nick, poached. Poached, yes. Unconventional for an English breakfast. Yeah. Um, the eggs were, were my choice. I picked poach. Yes, you have stated in the past that you prefer poached eggs. I do um, like poached eggs. I, I had uh, eggs royale this morning, uh, slash, well, midday. Um, <laughs> and, you know, poached eggs on there, brilliant. Really, really delicious. Yeah. Um, however, when I get asked what type of eggs I want in English breakfast, I will usually go for You say omelette. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, omelet. be like, yeah, give me an omelette. Well, I always see that because, like, a lot, oftentimes, especially in these smaller cafes, you'll often see like a, a menu item or even on the English breakfast, it might say eggs and then in bracket, you know, cooked how you like or cooked your way. Yeah, they'll give, yeah, you, the they'll give you the choice. Yeah, and I always yeah. want to be that, you know, pedantic person who's like, how far can I push this? You know, if I ask for my eggs... Raw. <laughs> Ta-ta. <laughs> yeah, or like, you know... If you They'd probably look them. at you like, what the hell? They'd probably do it. <laughs> Raw. <laughs> Raw. <laughs> I think that'd be a liability. I don't think they'd do like legally yeah, like, from maybe, an insurance yeah, standpoint actually, be allowed. Yeah, to. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a go, Isaac. You know, you test your theory, man. See how far you can push it. You know, no. go on. <laughs> but oh, no, I was man. like, you know, what kind of wild out there? You know, if you asked for them in omelet form, would they make you an omelet if you didn't? You know, but, yeah, maybe they would. They, they might know. charge you more. That's the thing, but that's, yeah. I, I, I'd fight back. I'd be like, no, that's not what it says on your thing. It says eggs my way. It doesn't say eggs yeah. my way bracket for a price. Yeah, it depends if they um like. What if I ask for them both? Serve omelettes <laughs> you know? like, as part of their breakfast menu and they yeah. charge more for it. Then they'll be like, well, that's like, you know, like a separate item. Um, yeah. And they'll be like, we sell uh, fried slash poached slash scrambled slash raw eggs as a side for cheaper. The omelette is more expensive. Therefore, we'll, we'll have to add that on in terms of the price. Again, though, um, what if you ask for them like burnt? Do you reckon they would? I mean... How do you want your eggs? They would, I think if they said, how do you want your eggs? And I said burnt, they'd be like, are you sh like, really? And I'd be like, yeah. And then they'd, they'd probably do it. <laughs> and then you get there and you're like, these eggs are burnt. <laughs> these eggs are burnt. Oh, that's, that's, that's one way to just really rile up humanity, isn't it? <laughs> it shows up and he's just like, excuse me, my eggs are burnt. <laughs> it's the same person who's just taking you yeah. on. <laughs> oh, dear. Like, at what point do they start having to, like, voice record your request? <laughs> To stop the uh, the finessing, right, oh. and just the douchebaggery. Oh, <laughs> douchebaggery. Yeah, it's um, jeez. Yeah, it's quite something. I um, I actually tried. By the way, um, gold is back online, or whatever the tier three miner got moved to. That's uh, that's that's on. Oh, again. you put down your miner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, beautiful. Okay, that's good. I tried pancetta bacon recently Ooh, for the first time for the first time mm. yeah it was, uh, it was when i was in wales about a month ago so my friends had done a large food shop and when we got there they'd realized that instead they bought a couple of packets of regular streaky bacon and yep. they'd got some pancetta bacon as well it didn't even say it was called bacon it said it was called it was pancetta which what i'm yeah, gonna say i think like, pancetta is just it's a yeah yeah it's like a different cut right yeah it's like um, a cured product right i think and it, like um salting yes yeah, so classically, pancetta is 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 like little, small little diced cubes of pork. I was gonna say I've, I've only ever used it in in cooking other things. Yeah, personally. it's usually using like carbonara, isn't it? Yeah, Stuff like sure. That. Mm -hmm. So I saw it and I was like, oh, like I've never seen pancetta like this before. It's cut like bacon. Tried it, unbelievable. Yeah. It was the nicest quote unquote bacon I have ever eaten. Wow. Um, and I need to like. I was looking in Morrison's for it the other day and it wasn't there. So I'm going <laughs> to deliberately go to Tesco instead. Yeah. My food shop this week. That's the I thing. Knew... I think you can only, uh, in UK supermarkets, least, I've only ever seen it in the little cube farm, right? Mm, same. Yeah. Until uh, until then. Oh, it was absolutely brilliant. I, I, oh, it was great. Really, really oh. salty, flavorful, crispy. Mm. It was, yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah. that was really good. Um Oh, yeah, man. It was, it was good incredible. times. Yeah, good um, times. Continuing, uh, well, are, are you are you looking for assignment? Like, are yes, you looking please. For, for task? Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> please, sir. <laughs> um. Okay. So I am what currently we trying need? to. So if you type, if you bookmark, yeah, the controller 
from refined storage. Mm-hmm. Let me, yeah, let me just type in controller. It'll be there, won't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the yeah, crafting yeah. grid from refined storage. Yeah. And the disk drive from refined storage. Mm-hmm. There mm -hmm. are parts here that I that I need. Right. Right. Um, I'm currently working on getting quartz rich iron like going. Um, but prior to that, there's like a lot of stuff. So like, um, if you look at any of these, there are all of the processes that need making, right? Yes, I noticed you were making the the chips. Yeah, I'll give you the ones what I've got. I've got some uh, printed logic circuits and some printed silicon, right? Okay, so thank to get you. silicon, you take nether quartz, smelt it, and then run it through the plate press. Okay, right. I see. I see. Um, so if you could just like look at making all of the required processes required, okay, like advanced, sure. basic, you know, construction, destruction, all that kind of jazz, and we're currently setting up a system that makes the the quartz enriched uh, iron because that's also something we're gonna. I see, need. I see. Okay, so but, we um, are... Continuing mm. our, our food podcast, Nick, um, mm. have you been to and or tried the Canadian restaurant chain, Nick, known as Tim Hortons? I have. We have one here in Birmingham. Um, and it is... I've been once. I have purchased the... What are they called? Timbits? Mm. These are tiny little... Um, donuts. Thingy majiggies. Yeah, tiny little donuts, which were... They were fine. Yeah. Uh, I also got like a little chicken burger and, and potato wedges. So this is what threw me off. Mm. So I uh, was out the other day and mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a, a new-ish Tim Hortons that's relatively close to where I am. It's not super close, yeah. but it was close enough, right? And so I was like, let's go. Let's see what this is all about, right? Yeah. I, and this, this, it's kind of out of the way. Like it's not, it's, it's by like a, we were at like a retail park. Sure, uh, Which sure. is like a, just an area with shops. Um, But it was like off the motorway. It was like not super, it's not like a super like, it's not like in the middle of a town center or anything. Yes, that, right? yeah, understood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm uh, I'm like wondering here. Um I, I didn't actually know what Tim Hortons was specifically. In my mm. head, it's like a, a Starbucks style, they sell coffee and donuts, right? Mm -hmm. Um cost of coffee kind of deal. Yeah. And so I, I walk in expecting to get like a cup of coffee and, and enjoy my, my cup of coffee. Yes. Um maybe. Maybe. So I walk in, and they've got the, the the digital screens that a lot of fast food places have now. Yeah, you can place yeah. right away. They also had a drive through, but we didn't know what we wanted, so we're like, let's go in and yeah, let's like yeah, you know yeah. uh, see what's see what's what here. Yeah, yeah, this place sells so much stuff. Like they they are like multiple outlets m forged into one. Right? They do yeah. breakfast like all day, like McDonald's breakfast yeah, style stuff, yeah. like muffins and wraps and bagels and all sorts. Mm -hmm. And then they have like cheeseburgers, which I was not expecting. Like at all, I was expecting again, just like a, like Starbucks don't do cheeseburgers, right? Yeah. So yeah, I was exactly. kind of thrown on on that front, and then they do coffee, mm -hmm. and then they do like this. They, you walk in and there's like a, a wall of donuts that you're greeted with. Yeah. There was like this huge array, like this swath of donuts. You can buy a twelve pack, a dozen, a half dozen, like you know, it, it, it's like a Krispy Kreme style scenario. Yeah, it is. And I was it like, is. this 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 place is doing so much, and then they have coffee on top of that, right? And then milkshakes and fries and. I was and, and pancakes. You get pancakes with like berries and cream and yogurt. I'm like, what in the what? What is this? Place? What's going on? What's right? happening? It's this like is, this the, is so much. It's like the Poundland of fast food. <laughs> yeah, they, they just, just have so all kinds much. of stuff. Like so the menu was just like, incredibly long. Yeah, and I don't know about you, Isaac, but um, there's like a classic, you know. Uh, chef's um, philosophy, <laughs> yeah. which is the more you have on the menu, the more mediocre things tend to be because they're spending less attention on everything. Yeah, that food I got from Tim Hortons, holy! It tastes like like school cafeteria <laughs> food. <laughs> Isaac, I'm not gonna lie, man. Really, it was so, distinctly average. Wow, I didn't have any like food. Food uh, we'd already eaten by the time we went. Sure, um, I had a coffee, which I actually really liked. I got like a oh. French vanilla latte, which was like Ooh, super good. I loved it. Yeah, nice. It was very tasty. Um, so I enjoyed that, and then I had we ordered like a dozen donuts to go. Yeah, right. Yeah, um, and they were they were it's like some of them were really really nice. We had like um, you know the, some of the nicer donuts were like filling and stuff. Uh, yeah. they weren't like the best donuts I've ever had, right? I compared them to Krispy Kreme later, which I don't think is an apt comparison. I think mm -hmm. Krispy Kreme do significantly better donuts. Yeah. But like, they weren't bad. They were nice enough. Yeah. You know, but I was just I was just baffled, Nick, at, at how much stuff this one they do. establishment was was trying to undertake. There were so many staff. It was also so busy. Like, it was packed. Really? It was jam-packed. There was a car park. It was full. I had to wait in my car to get a car parking spot until someone came in. Oh my god. And then we had to queue to get to the touch screen. And we had to wait like 
15 minutes for our order to get fulfilled. It was insane. It was so what? busy, man. Ah, uh, yeah, well, I insane. guess maybe because it was relatively new. And everyone's like, oh, Tim Hortons, Canadian. Yeah, yeah let's maybe. go. Coffee and donuts. There's like a the, there's a hype around it, right? Yeah. Maybe that's why it was so busy. Again, um, everyone's inside ordering the burgers and the chicken yeah. fries. And like, they have like 20 members of staff all behind the thing, all trying to, you know, figure out how not to I had to keep up with the fact that there was like a drive through and all the people yeah, ordering and then like yeah. Uber Eats guys had come in and it was just, it was oh, in- yeah. insane. Yeah, yeah. I've seen Actually places insane. that are like that at, at peak times. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, this, yeah, was, like, this was yesterday. This was like Sunday. noon on a Sunday is, yeah. is the time. You know, quiet time. Yeah. Suppose, like it should be a quiet time, right? Everyone's snoozing on Sunday. Um, that's wild, man. Yeah, like that's crazy. yeah that's yeah that's that is that's really interesting um because there's a uh, similarly there's a new tim hortons uh kind of elsewhere in the midlands that a lot of my school friends went to and they were like yeah it was like really busy like it was popping but it was again they all said it was like it was really average yeah so i think you didn't miss out isaac by by not eating by not getting anything mm. else mm, interesting. yeah i've had a french vanilla iced drink at Tim Hortons, I oh, think. Yeah. I think I got that along with Timbits. That was good. Yeah, that was really nice. I like um, to say I really enjoyed the 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 French vanilla, like a large latte. That I got yeah, that was I think that's exactly what I had as well. It's something about about it being French, man. Mm, I think yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, I think I'm, well, oh! like not, but not not regular French, like Canadian French. Yeah, exactly. You know, the kind of French that the, that's been filtered the, the through Canada. The best kind of French. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think that was uh... the kind of French. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna. You... I don't think our French audience base is super big, which is probably no. for the best. <laughs> well, yeah, because they've all left now. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, it was dear. it was it was massive before. Like, yeah, yeah, it's gone now. Sorry, sorry, Isaac. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, French Canadians. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's the end. Finished. Finito. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, no, very interesting. Very interesting. I um. I, actually, before I get into this, so so were you working on the Inscriber, Isaac, or do we have an Inscriber? Uh, well, the Inscriber needs quartz rich iron, and I'm working yes. on quartz rich iron is what I'm working okay, on. Okay, perfect, um, perfect. It's proving maybe to be a little difficult, though. Um, mm. Oh, I see. You've got your fluid crafter set up. I see. Oh, here it comes. Okay. Yeah. So, but each quartz rich iron requires some amount of 432 millibuckets of molten quartz. Oh, that's such a stupid number. I think uh, it might be 432 divided by 144. It's three. So, okay, it's it divides nicely because one quartz gives you 144 millibuckets. Oh, so anyway, three, three nether three quartz. quartz okay. three, sorry, three certus quartz. I think you can use nether quartz as well. I'm using certus quartz. Three okay. certus quartz equals one quartz in rich iron. We need a lot of quartz in rich iron. Mm, we do. It like takes the... a little while to smell down in this tiny baby little furnace. Yeah. So, we need what? Five for the inscriber. We need quite a lot for these machine casings. So another yeah. eight plus four, that's what, 12. Uh, and then you need them for the actual process as well. So like 13, 26. Uh, we, we need like basically like a lot touching a stack, call yeah. it to be safe. Which is um, three stacks of quartz, which we don't have. Right. So like, I'm kind of thinking, man, I was thinking this a while back. We might have to like gigify our assorted crystal miner. Oh, uh, right. We extend back, extend sideways, extend upward. Well, no, forwards. But, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to be the the bearer of bad news. Oh Nick. crap! We can't move these because you've put it right next to the gold, and the gold can't be moved without a, an elite techium pickaxe. Oh, oh, right. So the the advanced one only goes to a certain tier. Well, yeah. So the basic one, like, can't mine. The iron, right? Right. The, the 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 advanced one, so the basic technium pickaxe, right? The one right. you make with basic technium can mine everything that can be mined with a base. Basically, Nick. Basically, basically, the color. If it requires a tier three miner, you need a tier three pickaxe to break it. Okay. okay. If it's into tier two miner, you need a tier two pickaxe to break it. If it's needs a tier one miner, you need a tier one miner a pickaxe to break it. Right. So we need a tier elite pickaxe, which we can't make yet to do this. Right. Um. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's problematic. Man. Okay, wait, hold on a second. So you said that ceratus quartz and nether quartz can be used interchangeably, right? I believe so. We don't have a fair bit of nether quartz. I'm we aware. have 
we have two stacks of nether quartz. Yeah. And we have a stack of Saratus quartz. Yeah, just up so, right, yeah. So the three stacks, we're, we're okay, just about, for this But process. we also need all the all the nether quartz for making, all Saratus quartz for making silicon. Every piece of silicon requires a, a nether quartz or Saratus quartz. We do, we do. Now, luckily, I've got all of the circuitry required for this basic system, uh, excluding the drives. So I've got 22 printed silicon. So I don't think, I think we, we won't reach that limit for a little bit. I've got 11 printed engineering circuits, and I've got three printed logic circuits. So, I have a feeling that we're going to be okay, Isaac, for this, for the purposes of this exercise. Um, because even if we use three stacks right now, we'll still have uh, half a stack of Ceratus Quartz left, and 10 Nether Quartz left. But obviously, by the time we're done, there'll be a little bit more. Okay. Um, I think we're good. I think we'll be okay. All right. In that case, as you were. Okay, cool. I went to an ice hockey match for the first oh time goodness. this weekend. Where? Speaking of French Canadian, um, you know, I know that the, the Canadians are a big fan of ice hockey. I was in Wales uh, at a bit of a, a university reunion. And uh, my friend that I was visiting is very much into like these like American slash North American sports. Mm. Um, so there was just this ice hockey stadium in Cardiff in Wales. Uh, and we just went. To this match and it was wow. like a like a grass well, it wasn't grassroots but it was like you know a <laughs> regional it was it wasn't like 10 year old timmy <laughs> and you know the local at the local school versus you know <laughs> oh dear grassroots, yeah grassroots you know. no it wasn't quite grassroots <laughs> uh, it was a regional <laughs> is what i meant regional I teams man yeah yeah, yeah okay. no yeah it was grassroots, it was grassroots. grassroots. <laughs> It was uh, it was Cardiff versus Nottingham. I'm pretty sure. Right. And this was I I've never been to ice hockey before. It was wild, man. Yeah. So we went in, and this was the same day that we had bottomless brunch about f seven hours earlier. <laughs> so we were a little bit um, loose. Yeah. You could say. <laughs> so we all uh, we all we all went and sat down. And we went right here. We go, boys. Let's see what this consists of. And it was probably one of the most fast fast paced sports. I've ever seen this tiny little black puck getting absolutely shot across this uh, stadium, which was probably the size of maybe like three quarters the size of a, a soccer slash football pitch. Mm -hmm. um, like the the level of speed that was going on here was unbelievable. Like the everyone everyone was just so fast, and there were all these big jocks that were like you know crisscrossing these little ice hockey pucks and like moving them about and shooting them across the stadium, and that was all good, right? But every like ten minutes, there'll just randomly be a fight. Like right. two people just start beating each other up, <laughs> and that's like part of the match, right? The refs went up to them and were like, "Oh, please stop! They didn't, get, they didn't interfere or interject to like you know right. put themselves in to stop. They just let them get on with it. Literally, these <laughs> two two people, these two jocks, just going at it, just trying to beat each other up." It wow. was wild, man. And, like, that's, like, part of the spectacle. Like, everyone was just like, way, way. <laughs> <laughs> It was, like, encouraged. I couldn't believe it. I was wow. there. I was like, wow. This is, uh, this is incredible. It was wild. It happened, like, four times. Um, and when the match eventually finished, uh, the my friend who was the one who'd organized this was like, oh, I'm glad you guys got to see some fights. Because that's like a like part of the it's like part of normality, right? Wow. It was uh, it was quite it was quite something, man. Um, so are you uh, are you thinking of getting into the 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 ice hockey like? Yeah, sport? maybe probably quite good for cardio, right? And you know, yeah. character building as well. Mm, and uh, character. <laughs> character building, yeah. If I'm getting my face smacked in. Mm. I feel like that could be quite uh, quite a character building thing. Yeah. Those players were huge, man. Like, yeah? Uh, yeah, like I would be... You don't think you've got the, the, you, you, you maybe know the other size? It, maybe I can use it to my advantage, man. I can just yeah. slide in between their legs and stuff. Like, oh, yeah. Maybe that's the play. Um, yeah. Maybe I should be an ice hockey player. Right. I mean, I'm terrible at hockey. Let yeah. alone ice hockey. How, so. how are you at, like ice skating in general? Oh, I hate ice skating with a passion. I fall <laughs> straight on my ass. <laughs> like, so you can't... So, so you're not as big as the other players mm -hmm. you don't enjoy ice skating mm -hmm. and uh you don't 
you, you, I, I don't know what your current thoughts are on your skill level in terms of just playing ice hockey in general. Yeah, I mean, the only way is up, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe that's my, maybe, maybe, maybe I can improve Isaac. Maybe I, don't know, like, I think uh, your, I think your size could help you, man. Like people maybe, might, might yeah. underestimate, you know? Yeah. You as a player might like go for the bigger guys and then they just, I don't know how ice hockey works, but they might, you know, shoot the puck to you and then boom, you just scored. Yeah, maybe. And also, like, when Logan Paul decides he want to do boxing, right, everyone was like, you can't do that, he's a YouTuber. But then yeah. he just trained, and he actually became pretty decent, right? Yeah. So maybe, practice, just practice, man. Practice just makes perfect. Mm. Yeah. All right. Our next ice hockey vlogs, starting <laughs> soon. Zero to 100. Uh, day zero to 100. And then, like, after day 100, I have to uh, take part in a grassroots match. Grassroots. <laughs> 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 yeah i'll play i'll play in like the under 12s team just uh because <laughs> i think that's probably going to be my skill level <laughs> oh man <sighs> oh have you ever been ice skating man i think i have it's been a long time though yeah same god i do not have balance i fall over so quickly i hate it the amount of bruises i had last time i went it was uh it was not a fun time man um yeah I'm not 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 the biggest fan, um, but yeah, yeah, you know, the only way is up. That's true. And the only how's way is the, up. Uh, how's this? Oh, there's the quarter inch shine. How's the uh, the refined storage? I've I've basically delegated the entire task of making the refined right. storage system to Unic. By the way, okay. What what's this? Uh, oh, it's for cable. This, this is X slot. This is X yeah. Net. Okay. Don't you worry, Nick. I've made facades so we can uh, mm. we can cover this. And um, there is a slight a slight. Ooh, ooh, the, ooh, ooh, uh, ooh. 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 Uh, don't worry about it, man. Okay, man. All right, here we go. Right, I need to, I need to make Fluix crystals. Here we go for this inscriber. Uh, ooh, I can make Fluix crystals with with these basic items. That's all right. Let's do this. Uh, right. Let me. Let's do this then. Let's do this. Let's let's make this. Let's make this. Right. Here we go. Right. Yeah. I need some redstone. Redstone is back online, which is excellent. Let me go and uh, get some cinnabar. Right. <laughs> All okay. right. This is. Yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying Nick, to finally automate mm. advanced techium. Nice. That's the goal. Right. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I've uh, not actually done it yet. Yeah. This. Uh, this claim. That was made some time ago of, of automating it, but yeah, okay, cool. Like we, we have we've had for a while the idea of being able to the, like the, the the ability I should say to automate it. But what we've not had is like what, what, what we decided a little while back that we weren't going to bother with like the janky way of doing it. We were going to do it the the, the cool hip mm. young way, which yeah, is modern, yeah. yeah. But then. Like, that needs to actually be done, right? And yes, the, the infrastructure needs to be laid down, Isaac. Yeah. Like a, lane. like the, the Alaskan pipeline or mm. something like that, right? And here it is. It's like the, the big underwater internet cable that connects the world up, right? Yeah. Which I've always thought is quite a scary prospect, just given yeah. that there's, like, just one internet the, cable. You know, if the sharks want to revolt, man, and just... Take over. They've just got to cut that wire. Just got to just eat it, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, there was earthquakes somewhere recently. I think it was Tonga, I want to say. Right. And that, like, the the there was like a big earthquake and some tsunamis, and that like damaged the the internet cable that like went around that area, and then loads of people were out of internet. And I was like, wow, like we're all relying on this big underwater cable slash cables. Mm. Like, what if the sharks eat it? What if the, you know, what if a pirate ship sinks and, like, you know, severs it? Yeah. There are all these things, man. Yeah. That's and true. I'm like, what's the redundancy like? Is there two cables? Is the cable. <laughs> just one, one Ethernet cable. It's just, it's just one cat, <laughs> cat seven cable <laughs> connecting the world, man. Just a standard cat seven just on, cable. Just on either side, it's got the little, you know, connector where you push the little thing down and pull it out, and, you know, that's it. The internet is gone. <laughs> maybe, um, uh, maybe that's a, that is a big threat, Isaac. Maybe. Um, yeah, that's, that's very true, actually. Yeah, I think it might um, be, man. Okay. Speaking of uh, continuing our food podcast, man. Yeah. Um, I tried something else the other day. For oh the yeah. First time. God, he's, um, got, he's just tried every. What, what he's I know. Been up to I'm, I'm kind of a, last a culinary week, um, adventure. Adventure, like yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been crazy, man. Mm. Um, I tried Nick. 
the a, a, a new uh a new uh, i tried mm-hmm. um a, a hybrid not a vehicle mm. hybrid food nick i tried mm. a croffle not and that for those wondering that's not one of the the balls from quidditch <laughs> <laughs> That's what, um, yeah, in case you were wondering. <laughs> in case you were wondering. What um are you aware of what this is? So I'm assuming so I've never I never heard of it until you've literally just told me, but I am assuming, Isaac, it is a cross between a croissant and a waffle. That is exactly what it is. Mm. They take a croissant and they basically like slap it in a waffle maker, right? Right. So you get the and then they top it like it would uh, a Top it like they would a, a waffle, right? I thought you say they drop it like it's hot. Then they drop it like it's hot as well. That's, <laughs> yeah, I mean that's, that's fair cool. enough. Yeah, um, yeah, but yeah, no. They, so they take this 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 croissant, and they're mm-hmm. already great, right? I'm a, I'm a fan. You're a fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love them. Delicious. Very nice. Right? Buttery, very flaky. Oh, mm, oh, fantastic. Especially when they're hot, like when they're warm. Oh, oh man, yeah. Fantastic. I mean, yeah, yeah. Like if they're not, if they're, oh, if they're not hot, I will heat them up. Yeah, Isaac. exactly, yeah, right? exactly. So like yeah, this, yeah. I went to a, a place that sells dessert, a dessert place, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then they had it on the menu mm-hmm. and like, yeah, they stick a, I assume they stick it in a, in a, in a, uh, a waffle maker, right? So they, so they stick, what are you saying? This They stick a, um, a croissant batter? I think they might do it dough based. Yeah. Like they might take the batter itself. Like, yeah. I can't they... confirm that though. I didn't see them make it. Right. Before. And they put this. Yeah. In a waffle iron slash waffle maker. Yes. Right. So okay. it, it, it's like flat and it looks waffly. It's got like the waffle, you know, divots, like the squares. Mm-hmm. And then they top it with like the, the, the best toppings known to mankind, you know, like you do with any any goodness, you know. You oh top God. it with like malt, like hot chocolate and fruits. Oh, and God. All kinds of deliciousness. Man. Jeez. It's, it's fantastic. You know, that is, and, and, that's you know, really syrups good. and bananas oh. and creams and ice creams and hot just, damn. Oh yeah, it's it's something, man. Wow. It was very nice. I totally enjoyed it. No, I can imagine I've man. That's washed it. You, you know, you you convinced me, man. You were you were like you were talking the other day about these dessert places, man. I had to go and Oh yeah. You, well you, I mean once once you it, me into it. Once the once the, the seed is planted. Yeah. Oh, I sick. had a freaking milkshake, man. It was Oh man. Fantastic. God yeah. yeah. God, you're gonna make me go to the bloody dessert shop. Now, I'm sorry, this. man. I have to. Buddy, uh, the amount of sugar I've had in the last few days <laughs> as well. Christ. Yeah, well, that sounds delicious. It's interesting. Very good. Yeah, yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed interesting. it. Interesting. Yeah, that's interesting because I massively prefer um savory croissants, like savory. Mm. Maybe like a bit croissant. of ham and cheese or something. That's my favourite one. Yeah, yeah it's so I good, man. Yeah. adore ham and cheese croissants. Oh, I, and that has fantastic. to be hot. Oh, oh yeah, 100%. So you ain't, serve that cold, get out of here. <laughs> I'm freaking... I've, the amount of, I've gone to places before and then they've, they've, they've like been like, oh, like, you know, like they didn't ask if I want it heated. And they've given it to me. And I'm not going to ask them out my way after they've given it to me, mm. right? If, oh, if, if, if I want that, I want them to heat it. So I've eaten it and I've been like, this is... I was just so aware the whole time of how much better it would be. Yeah. Um, should it have been um, heated, right? Toasted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's bloody good. It's man. good stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's bloody thing. good. It's so yeah, nice. But that's, they're basically just butter, though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right. the they even they even <laughs> rub it in your face by being like, it's all butter. That's the thing. I'm like, yeah. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a bit butter. It's all butter. It's all butter. There's nothing else. It's just a block of it's butter. Block, I mean, apparently, that's what I might as well be eating. I wonder Isaac. if that's. I wonder. If, so clearly, that's not the case, right? But yeah. Like, I do wonder if, like, if I would get into trouble for false advertising if I took a block of butter, shaped it into the shape of a croissant, and then sold it as an all butter, all butter croissant. croissant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In store. Just be like, it's literal, guys. It's. <laughs> <laughs> be like, I'm the, and you can just say to them, "Am I lying?" And they'll yeah, no, to, like, suck my it case. up. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Just be like, "Oh, like yeah, my legal team are telling me there's nothing wrong. That that works fine." Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, wow. Like it's that's all uh, you're really, uh, you're really doing dirty there, man. Uh, yeah, no, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, someone asked Isaac, "Was it like a puff pastry waffle?" So I'm not gonna lie, my waffle eating experience is incredibly, is incredibly narrow, thin. Waffles. I don't think you've seen many waffles in the UK, man. Like they're not. 
They're not. I don't. I, I might be wrong, man, but I feel like as a nation, we've we've chosen pancakes. Yeah, I think so too. We are a we are a pancake nation, aren't we? Hashtag it's, pancake nation. Yeah. Yeah, we are. We are. That's. Uh, I mean, I ain't complaining. Like you can get man. waffles. That's true. I don't know, man. Like. Especially those dessert places, anytime they, like, you see a waffle, they always look real, real fake. You know, they look real, like, Ooh. real, like, sometimes you'll see, like, a quote-unquote Belgian waffle. Those look good. Those look nice. But, like, yeah. some of the quote-unquote, like, American waffles, I assume regular American waffles are not like this, but they just don't look good, you know? They look very, like, I assume they're all using, like, the same supplier. They just look a little, yeah, a little plastic yeah. a little cheap. Then, I, you know, I'm just not, I'm not about it, you know? Sorry. Yeah. What's those? What? Yeah, the Belgian ones. Yeah, yeah. Belgium, they're a bit, I'm all about. A bit. Yeah. No. Yeah. They. They are good. Actually. Thanks, Belgium. But yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Belgium. Belgium, you do as well with the desserts. The, the sweet True. items. Like, they are amazing. Yeah. When I say um, fake waffle, I mean like I, I. I don't think they have a waffle iron. I think they just. Oh, they, they weren't made with a waffle iron. They just like take something out of the freezer and. and yeah. Heat it up. Defrosted it in the microwave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, the ones I see are like perfectly round, and then they've got like you know they're cut into triangles and then it's just like mm. you know ah. i yeah. understand yeah, yeah it's a bit uh it's a bit of a bit of an naff one yeah, yeah. interesting Someone yeah. Said, greeting from belgium's you're welcome <laughs> <From Belgium. laughs> thanks thank you it's you quite interesting actually work. i was uh i was actually watching i was i had the tv on this morning mm -hmm. and uh i was watching the daytime tv i just had it on um promise i don't actually just watch daytime tv it's all and... he does when he's not recording these videos <laughs> yeah it's just 24 7 <laughs> Uh, and there was there was like a chef segment of this morning TV show, right? And the guy had this waffle iron out, and he was making these waffles, savory waffles, crazily. Mm. Um, Insane. And I was like, you know, like I was like, they look great. But I was like, I was thinking, I was like, damn, like that must be such a pain in the ass to clean. Like you've got all these divots in this waffle maker, and you're getting like bits waffle bits in there it's batter in there it must be like really just annoying to to clean right like surely yeah maybe that's why man maybe yeah, that's why I no one does imagine. it yeah yeah but like yeah. they they still charge the like a, a hard price for the waffles yeah like, they, they, they don't mess about man that's the thing yeah they ain't messing about it's uh they, it's the premium, it's the waffle tax, Isaac. Yeah. That's what they're doing. Yeah. They're charging the us a bloody waffle tax. What the <laughs> yeah. hell? I think we, we need to, we need to, to uh, petition Boris and see if we can get the W, uh, oh, yeah. WT lowered. Yeah, I think we, I think we should. It's too high. You know? Yeah, yeah. Come on, Boris. Is Boris still in power? <laughs> I have a feeling that he, since I'm starting this stream, he actually might not be. <laughs> I actually have no oh. idea. Oh, I've not been watching the news that closely this afternoon, but I have a feeling that it might be a bit <laughs> touch and go. <laughs> well, if not, maybe we could get him to be a lobbyist for the waffle tax. Yeah, right? I think I think he can pull it back if he just um, changes the the waffle tax. I think that's all it requires. That's the man. one populist policy people want to see. Yeah, know? yeah. I think you're right, Isaac. That's the only bit of legislation people care about. I think I think that's the case, man. I yeah. think that's the case. Oh my goodness. We should get into me. consulting, man. Yeah. Charge a thousand pounds a day and an hour, just tell sorry. people how an it is. Sorry, an hour. An hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then just, you know, tell people how it is. That's basically <laughs> what consulting is. From, yeah. from someone who's met a lot of consultants, Isaac. Yeah. That's, that is literally. They just tell it how it is. Yeah, you just charge a thousand pounds a day and just tell people how it is. Like, tell them the hard truth. That is consulting. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's incredible. Here we go. You Are uh, you going to get into consulting, man? Yeah, maybe. Oh crap! Oh no. Oh, you gonna stick to to, to insulting? I uh, no, I'm a I'm a I'm a insultant. Isaac. Insult. I'm an insultant. <laughs> Do uh... you need to lower your team's morale? <laughs> 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 Become an insultant today. <laughs> I'm an insultant, Janky Nick. It's like the... three four three four nine nine two. It's uh, it's like the good cop bad cop of the consultant <laughs> consulting world, right? For every consultant, <sighs> there's an insultant, Isaac, yeah. a complimentary insultant. You just uh, <laughs> you just act like an employee, but you just non-stop insult all the other employees. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like even and even <sighs> if you're outsourced, right? Like you'd go there. And you'd go with a consultant, and p the people would be like, "Oh, like yeah, like oh, I'm, you know, I really need uh, help with this, you know, this thing. Like it's, you know, it's not going very well." Uh, and then the consultant's like, "Oh, like yeah, that's you know, fair enough. Like, um, you know, here's all these things that could help, uh, that can help you out. Like here's how we can, you know, improve this, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. 
And then the insultant that you're with will just be like, oh, that's garbage. You're garbage. <laughs> Like, <laughs> not even subtle about it at all. No, just. no, no. Just be like, that's the worst thing I've ever heard. You need to just, you need to just give up. And then the, you know, the 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 customer will be like, oh, like you know, and but they, and and you, eventually they get pressured into giving the consultant mm, like the business. I see. Right? right? Yeah. You see where I'm coming from? I do see where you're coming from. Yeah, you're making yeah. people. You're psychologically manipulating people into thinking that like it, it's a lot worse than it actually is. Yeah. And then using that that psychological manipulation to uh, to your own benefit. Like, I like exactly, it. I like exactly. It. How much of a good cause to, am I to humanity, <laughs> Isaac? Right? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely what businesses need right now is <laughs> <laughs> more ways just... to control and manipulate their employees. <laughs> <laughs> you just need a bit of hard truths. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you can call your company, man. You can call it you know, Nick's Hard Truths. Nick's Hard Hire Truths. Hire consultant today. Yeah, maybe it, that that could definitely be like a, like a grassroots TV show. Love that word today. Yeah, grassroots. Yeah, like a, you do like the word grassroots. I do like the word grassroots. I mean, it's quite a cute word actually. Is, yeah, I think it's considered. Yeah, I also I'm feel like you know, there are probably some professions where like they could just use an insultant just to toughen up the staff. You know. Yeah. I imagine like investment banking. For oh, some reason, I imagine that as like a really. <laughs> cut to that world, you know. Of, yeah, yeah. Of, of people who, who at the very least, feel like they 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 need tough skin, and so you know, like, just uh, you know, get to get the investment banks to to pay you to to insult their employees, you know. Or maybe um, if you're starting a YouTube channel, a YouTube channel, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you definitely need that. How to? It'll be like consulting on how to. Uh, so consulting on how to thicken your skin against trolls is mm. li is insulting. Like that's what you need an insultant for. Um, I was going to say prison officer because I oh, know. Yeah. Uh, I think I've talked about this in a previous series. I know a prison officer, and like she has like some of the thickest skin I know. And I was like, yeah, you, you're like you'd suit that job. Like fair enough. But the story she comes out with, I'm like, wow. If anyone wants to get into this. They're going to need insulted training, man. Like, yeah. for sure. Like, wow. it's absolutely insane. Like, prisoners, uh, they're, um, they can be hard work, man. If, really? As, as you might have guessed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who would have thought of that? <laughs> Business, they can be hard work. They can be hard work. <laughs> That's Nick's know. consulting for you right there. There you go. I'm give, giving you that one for free, people. <laughs> Oh, oh, dearie me. How's this refined storage system? So I've got the controller. Nice. I am just about to get the drive cage. Oh. Isaac. Yeah, yeah, it's going well. How's the grid going, though? Is the grid anywhere near done? Or? Oh, the grid. Uh, ooh, the grid. Um, um, <laughs> the grid. The grid might be off the grid for a little bit. Right. Uh, however, it is OTG. just a case of one more machine casing and then some pro some procs, Isaac, right. some processors. So it's not terribly far off. Okay. But we will definitely, I can promise now that we will have a rudimentary refined storage system by the end of this stream, aka okay. next episode. Could you uh, put down the refined storage controller, Nick? Uh, yes, I can. Real Shall quick? I just whack it down Just here? whack it down. There you go. Perfect. Because now I can use it as the YouTube thumbnail and it's not clicked ah, officially. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, so, you go. uh, yeah. You've got your you screenshot go. now. And I, you, I'll even, Nick, because people are complaining, I'll even put it down next to power. There like, you boom, go. There, yeah, like it's it gets glowing. Nice. Look at that. Ooh, okay. Woo! <laughs> I have successfully connected up all of the, um, all of the component parts of almost all of the component parts, everything but the lava. Oh, I've sweet. connected up everything that is required for advanced technique. So now it should just be a case of dropping down this resource combiner and using X, pardon me, using X to tell everything where to go. Nice. Okay, very good. Very yeah, good. which I'll do, Nick, right at the start of the next episode.